uh, we sat down and they informed me that I had prostate cancer and at that point in time everything went blank. And folks, you know, they, they, they don't want to talk about it because it's sensitive. Okay, got it, but it's real. Prostate cancer is the leading cancer in men. Um, most of our patients are over the age of 60. However, we, we have treated patients as young as their early 40s. I'm a retired Army aviator, and as an Army aviator, we got annual physicals. So I got into the habit, uh, which is a good habit, by the way, of getting an annual physical. I got an, a call saying, hey, we've noticed your PSA. It's raised a little bit, so we're going to watch that. We went through a period of three or four of those every six months get a PSA, and they would increase and increase and increase, and I was being watched here by the urology folks here at, at Bamsey. Key here is I had no symptoms, no symptoms of any kind, none. So I would not have known about this had I not been getting those PSA tests. Men that are aged 55 to 70 should have a discussion with their urologist to see if they would benefit from screening. Uh, younger than the age of 55, if you have certain risk factors like a family history of prostate cancer, or symptoms of prostate cancer, including urinary symptoms, you may want to talk to your doctor or urologist to see if screening is an option for you. Prostate cancer is very treatable. Overall, when we look at all patients that have prostate cancer, we can uh, treat those with confined disease and expect cure rates greater than 90%. Prior to my diagnosis, my father had, I think it was about, been about 10 years, um, my father was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, his was caught in enough time to where, to this day, he's still alive. Always be there to support and to love them and assure them, and they'll get through it. There, there's going to be a light at the end of that. They've got to do the work, they've got to get the treatment, and then you're there with them every step of the way. At the end of the day, no matter how well you served your country, you deserve the opportunity to take care of your family. And so, so I made some promises to myself. If I could get through this, I would be a better father, a better son, better soldier. I think we're a very special place. Um, I've been here for over a decade, and over that time we've been very lucky that the command and the Department of Army has done a great job to support us to bring in literally millions of dollars of equipment. But beyond that, it's the team that's here. The first stage of support comes with seeing the doctors. Uh, and the doctors have great resources available, including uh, nurses, case managers, and we even uh, have a survivorship group uh, to help maintain care for patients that have prostate cancer. And more recently, we're collaborating with the community and having patient support groups be involved with our uh, systematic approach as well. It was a very challenging time in my life, and, uh, but the medical personnel surrounded me, put their arms around me, so I'm a prostate cancer survivor today because of the team efforts of this facility and the personnel. You know, I just want to end here in healthy. To have this lady that's sitting beside me right now, you know, been a lot. And so, I love you. <laughs>